Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So I'm back with another Forever 21 haul. I had some gift cards from my birthday and I just wanted to pick up some things online. I'm going on a trip in a couple weeks and I think more so like two weeks. <laughs> so I just wanted to pick up some things. I guess we will try them on now and see. Hopefully they are looking cute. Hopefully the body came with it today. I don't, I'm not feeling it though. Let's get started. So here's the box that everything came in. If you've watched any of my hauls that I've done from Forever 21, honestly, I usually stick to tops or dresses. I usually don't get accessories that often, but I've been trying to go out of my comfort zone or just explore other things. So these are <laughs> hair rings and I don't think I've ever worn these. But I thought they were so freaking cute and pretty. I don't even think I realized that it had like the peach emoji basically. I just thought they were so freaking cute though. I don't really know how it goes in your hair. If I'm going to be 100% honest. Maybe I'll do yellow because I have yellow shorts on. The only th downside with my hair is that... Okay, well I already broke the hair ring so that's wonderful. Okay, so let me pick another charm because the other one fell off and um, I don't know where it went. So let's try this again. I think it would have been nicer if this was somehow like attached rather than being able to come off so easily. But I'm gonna try putting this in my hair and then I guess we will come back. I'm just not sure it's giving what I wanted what I wanted it to give. I don't think so. I need to go online, look at the model, see how she has her style. Because obviously just having one strawberry in my hair looks a little dumb. But I think like putting more like layered could look cuter. But I just wanted to see um in regards to like is it gonna really stay it's it's definitely different it's something that i haven't got before i think if it had like a clip maybe because it's pretty much like an earring almost this could double as an earring i mean you wouldn't have a second earring to match it that being said that's like the only accessory i got i did get a pair of shoes which i might try on but i don't want you guys to judge my toes or anything weird okay but moving on okay this material it, it reminds me of an apron. If you work in a restaurant or whatever, this is apron material. This is a matching set, so it's a little crop top. I got this in a small, just because I am usually a small in pants, so... Wow, they look even kind of big. I'm gonna have to wear these with heels. I have them pulled up, like, pretty much to my over my belly button, and they are still dragging on the floor. But I really like the color. I think they're gonna be see-through, though, unfortunately. Not that I need business casual, but, like... You know, if I ever just want to look kind of more dressy, I thought this was something that could be that. But I do like the color. I think it's a really pretty blue, like almost looks periwinkle, I want to say. So if I do wear my pants normal, like at my belly button, bitch, don't, e don't even look at my belly button. But anyways, if I wear my pants at like a normal whatever length on my hips, my waist, then yes, like they do fit. But y'all know, I like having my pants high-waisted, so that's my, like, dilemma is that I wish it was a little bit more snug. But to be honest, even if I did wear the normal, like, it's giving me a droopy crotch, okay? It's not looking too cute. The top is cute, but I'm pretty sure, obviously, I have to return both. And I really wouldn't, I don't think I would even want to wear this just because the color, I would want these pants to match it. I feel like it's kind of giving. I found these pants in a thrift store, and they're not my size, but I wanted to make them work and it's just not working and to be honest i'm not really sure if it's see-through but like if the pants were snatching me like this because i got them like pulled together it would be a cute fit that's all right we tried i have i don't even know i'm not sure what i thought okay i don't know i i really like the color blue i've noticed the past couple times this i don't really know what i was going for it's a sweater top the material almost reminds me of something like a sports bra so it's pretty stretchy i mean i don't really know where i thought i was gonna wear this or why to be honest i even bought this i think it could be cute it's gonna, definitely gonna give cleavage depending on how it fits on my chest like if it's very low cut then i probably won't wear a bra with it if it isn't then i probably would just so that i have a more pushed up effect but hold up this shirt is freaking cute forget everything i just said about the whole bra situation i honestly don't feel like i need one because whatever it's doing in my chest is like pushing it up maybe just because it's like i don't really think it's that tight but the material is just it like i said it reminds me of a sports bra so maybe because of this nylon material it's doing that but i feel like the titties are tittying and i am kind of living for it 
I know the blues are off and I'm returning these bottoms, but like this could kind of be a look too. But yeah, I love this top. This is the back. I did not think it was going to be doing all this now. At first I'm like, what was I going for with this? The girls are out and they're saying hello. You do have to be careful, I'm not going to lie. A nip slip is very possible, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. Shall be interesting. Kind of ties over your shoulders and around your back. But I really like this because of the ruche detailing on the side. I thought it could fit really nicely and be a little bit more snug. So that's what I'm hoping for. I got this in a size medium, but I feel like maybe I could have gone with a small. This dress is so freaking cute. I'm going to put you guys lower as always so you can see what I'm talking about, but I'll talk about the top half. This is kind of flowy in the front, and I do like the way it fits. You are going to get a little bit of side boob depending on the size of your boobs, but I don't mind that too much. I love the back of it and how open it is and cute. I mean, I think I would love this with maybe a bun or a ponytail just so that the focus is the dress and the back of the dress but i thought this was really pretty now the ruche detailing i thought this would be like you'd be able to kind of like adjust it yourself but you can't so it's a little bit of a weird fit on the bottom half as you can see it kind of goes on like this slant this is the ruche detailing here but there's no stretch at all to it the only thing that's kind of strange is i don't know just the bottom of this it's very big and kind of flappy i don't even know what to call it but other than that i really do like how it looks i think it's very pretty and flattering right, next outfit oh lord okay it's a matching set so it has a skirt the material isn't giving shein but the design is giving shein because y'all know shein you just have like long ass pieces of fabric that you're like i don't even know which way this goes but this is i'm guessing a halter top and it goes around my neck in the back so it's pretty easy i think to put together well, hopefully I'll be able to kind of adjust it so it looks nice. So here is the next outfit. It's a lot better than I was expecting. And I didn't even realize when I was taking the skirt out that there's actually a slit on the side, which I'll show in a second. But I really like it. But I do wish that the fit was a little bit more tighter so that kind of like how that other top was doing, like was giving me, you know, a little push up. But other than that though, I really do like it. The fit is nice. The skirt is very stretchy and also the top is stretchy as well. So I just tied it around my neck and it does have a pretty open back. This is a hot mess back here, but it's fine. And so I just tied it down here kind of, sort of. And look at this cute little slip though. Okay, she's given some side leg. I mean, you could probably even move it more to the front a little bit. And yes, girl. Cute. A knit dress. This is my last clothing item. My other thing is a pair of shoes. Okay, this could be really cute if it if it looks good on me. It could be cute. Now, the only thing is I'm not sure about this material because it's very soft, which is nice. But typically, this kind of material like shows off every little thing wrong with my body. I'm so sad. This has the potential and it does have the potential, just not for me. Let me just be annoying and get out of the way the things that I don't like about it. Obviously, the fit... You can see my underwear through it, which is alright. I would figure something else out. A big pet peeve of mine is when you can see literally your stomach, more so your belly button, <laughs> through an outfit, top, dress. I just, I literally hate seeing that on myself. Um, yeah, this is a belly button hating account over here. Hating channel, I'll say. The color, I wish it was more vibrant. This kind of gives like a washed, faded look, which maybe that's what they were going for. Those are just like the two main things is the fit and the color of it. I honestly wouldn't mind. I said the whole underwear being seen through like we'll, we'll get some we'll figure something else out. I love the back of it so much. I just think like, not specific not so much on me, but just women in general when they have a dress with the back like a low back, I think it is chef's kiss so beautiful. It's sexy, I'm not even going to lie. And I love that. I really want to keep it though. Maybe if I just loosen this around my stomach and suck in the whole time. I'm kind of going back and forth. I might keep it. I Because I do really like it. Definitely I have to make sure that the straps stay up. Because then it is very risky for a nip slip. And I do like the cutout in the front as well. There's these buttons right here. And then it also ties. And also the length of it on me. It's not extremely midi. It's a couple inches above my knee. Now, my last thing is I ordered these pairs of shoes. Again, I don't know what it is with me in blue, but 
I wanted to try something different. They smell a little weird. Oh, these things are gonna hurt. <laughs> these are Barbie shoes. These aren't even meant for real people to wear. This is doll shoes, I'm pretty sure. There is absolutely no comfort, I don't think, in these shoes. Um, I don't even know if I, I mean, you know what? Maybe they'll surprise me. But anyways, they're just these blue, like baby blue sandals, a little bit of a wedge, but I don't know. I don't know about these. I really need to try them without socks on just so that I know. Stay back. Don't look at my toes, first of all. It's giving brunette Barbie. Okay, Polly Pocket. Y'all better blur out my toes. I kind of want to walk around my house and see. I kind of like them. Beauty is pain. Fashion can be pain as well. That's everything for this Forever 21 haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Make sure to subscribe before you go. And thanks for watching.